For this function, we want to graph the polynomial function by finding its degree, determining the end behavior, finding the zeros, and I'll also find the y-intercept. So let's begin with determining what the degree of the function is. The degree is going to be the highest exponent for x. This is in factored form. So you can either count up your x's or imagine if you multiplied all of those leading x's, what would that power be? So x times x times x is x cubed. So this would be a third degree function. A third degree is an odd function, and its end behavior is going to match the graph of x cubed. Its leading coefficient would be positive 1 fourth. So this is going to be like positive x cubed, where it falls to the left and rises to the right. Next we want to determine the zeros. Zeros are x-intercepts of the graph. We're going to set each factor equal to zero. If I set one-fourth equal to zero, there's no variable, so I don't get an x-intercept for that. I set x minus one equal to zero, and I would add one, so one is a zero. x minus four gives me x equals four, and x plus two gives me x equals negative two. Now all of these are unique zeros. There aren't any repetitions or um, multiplicities other than one. So when I graph these x-intercepts, I would expect the graph to cross through each of these points and not bounce off. Now let's find the y-intercept. This is additional information that will give you another point to graph on the function. The y-intercept is h of zero. We're going to let all the x's equal zero in the function. So 1 fourth times 0 minus 1 times 0 minus 4 times 0 plus 2. So this simplifies to 1 fourth times a negative 1 times a negative 4 times a positive 2. So if I multiply negative 1 times negative 4, that's positive 4. 1 fourth of 4 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2. So this product, h of 0, equals 2. So I have a y-intercept at 0, 2. Now let's graph the function. So I'm going to graph my y-intercept at 0, 2. Also I'm going to graph my zeros at x equals 1, x equals 4, and x equals negative 2. Next we want to graph the end behavior from this first step. So it falls to the left and rises to the right. So to complete the curve of the polynomial function, I'm going to cross through each zero. I'm going to hit the y-intercept. I'm going to pass through the next zero, and at some point I have to turn and come back up and rise to the right. This value down here, you do not have to solve for the minimum point there. You just have to sketch the curve of the function.